We are here at the riverside in Phnom Penh. This is the tourist area. It's right in the center of the city. This is kind of like a boardwalk, but it's made from cement and tiles and it goes very far down to the royal palace and we will walk down there and we'll show you the center of the riverside. We'll start here and uh, we'll walk all the way down there and for security purposes I've got my friend Michael here walking with me. Hey Michael. So I'll show you guys the riverside here in Phnom Penh. Let's take a look. Should be about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes walking time. It's very peaceful out here. It's a bit more tropical than Thailand. The, the air is more warm, more moist. And out here you can see there's a real river culture going on. Uh, the barge here. Over there's the bank, the other bank with the, those are actually river gypsies, Muslim river gypsies that live out there in the water and on the banks. See people fishing out here. Over there is a hotel, a giant hotel on an island, and it's a reportedly owned by Vietnamese, and there's a big disco in the top of it that lights up every night. Looks a bit high, so. You can see that it's not very touristy in Phnom Penh. There are tourists here, but not as many as Thailand. Of course, on the side here, we've got bars and happy pizza shops, restaurants, coffee shops. That's also a part of the island that the hotel is on. It's one big island. It's actually very cheap to live over there, but I've heard you don't want to really drive late at night across that bridge over to your home on that island for security purposes. I don't know how they got that motorbike down there. really a very nice riverside. Hello. We'll have another look at the water out here. I'll show you guys a close-up. We've got some local boats coming by. And you can, you can go on these boats for cruises very cheaply, around about $5 for a one hour cruise that takes you down around the island, back up and then to the piers back that way. But me and one other person took one boat out for $10 for an hour privately. You can see the Muslim River Gypsies fishing down here. Michael, is everything going okay? No, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Here we can see they're selling drinks. Drinks along the side. 
of the river front here in these ice chests you can get drinks adult beverages which means beer snacks bugs frogs all sorts of things out here you can see it's a real nice neighborhood if you want to sit and relax on a nice patio here it's a bit French style the buildings are at least in some places here so you can see the riverside is not a small small walk it's not a small tourist attraction it's actually really really long and there's a lot to do here in the evenings and at night time they're playing badminton and football and even football with plastic bottles I would like to make a night video for you guys out here to show you because it's a totally different scene but uh, it's a little bit risky so I'm still thinking about how to do that there's a lot of homeless people out here especially at night time and it's not well lit couple of monks down here we see the Muslim River Gypsies they poured it right here which they do in the daytime for some reason he's washing his clothes down there right now and they actually live inside these boats full-time they rarely get off of them from what I've seen and if you go around that island just there on the river boat you will see a large community like a really a floating village and the storms out here are amazing they're really tropical storms very very heavy very pleasant you can't be in a bad mood when you're walking out here over here we've got the naked kids playing as they do it's quite a big surface here to play football on in the evening times if that's what you're into the locals would love to have you. I kicked the ball around a little bit last night and they liked it. And this part of the river actually opens up massively into almost a bay. And if you go this way, you will arrive in Vietnam. Michael, he said about five hours and the boat will take you right over there seems like a nice bucket list idea and if you go up that way up the river you will end up in a Siam Reap in the largest body of fresh water in Southeast Asia I believe it's a very large natural uh, lake there so you can pull your motorbikes up here on the riverside sit down have some food alone or with someone up here is a uh, an exercise area and it's actually quite safe to use at night and we're going to walk up this direction just because there's a looks like a bunch of homeless people over there i don't want to get too close to them with my camera out and uh you can exercise here for free obviously nice you 
can see there's maybe you can see out there uh, I'll zoom in for you guys a little bit there's a lot of traffic out there on the water it's really a, a very busy waterway this it's a looks like a falang falang a foreigner as they call out here in Cambodia There's the porta potties, the toilet, and the main toilet that I see most people using is right there, unfortunately. You can see over here some beautiful, beautiful, a beautiful temple here, just not far away over there. And people actually live inside the temple walls there for uh, next to nothing with no electricity. And, I've made friends with a few of the people that live over there and hang out here on the riverside. We'll ease on over by the water here. It's a nice little concession stand here. Also a concession stand, probably gambling, playing cards right here. to be some historic monument I suppose some royal figures some kings or something along that line here This is a great place to come and ride your bicycle or if you want to run a few, few laps. And this is the bottom side of Riverside and you can just guess what all kind of things are happening along this area here. You don't want to be down there at night time by yourself. Cambodian traffic, mellow but chaotic, truly. Show you guys a bit of the water here. You can see down here it's beginning to get a bit more touristy. It's a lot safer down here. I'm really happy that uh, we've got Michael here today to help with the, the security. I've got four eyes and some local eyes, so it makes it real nice. You can sit along the riverside anywhere out here and enjoy your food and beverage and have a really amazing view of the, the water, the, the boating culture, the locals, the tourists. And a lot of these places have upstairs top decks here that you can sit on and uh, enjoy the view. Over here we've got the Happy Pizza restaurants. 
So if you don't like angry pizzas, that's the place to go. You won't get an angry pizza in any of those places. And this is very far away. We're gonna really see how good the 60x zoom works here, but way over there is a community of all Vietnam, there it is, all Vietnamese migrant workers that live along that part over there. And uh, it's very interesting, but as a tourist, you, it's no way you can really get over there unless you're with a local. But when you take the river cruise, you will go along that, that border around that shore right over there, and you can have a look into that Vietnamese migrant working community. It's very interesting. That's the historical FCC. The when before Pol Pot died, the last uh, his, or was it before he died? I believe it was the last interview captured was by a foreigner from this FCC, the Foreign Correspondents Club, and uh, there's good security there and a lot of interesting pictures and uh, a lot of members of the FCC, the Foreign Correspondents Club, or legendary due to their reporting out here. And it was reported that during that time they felt very safe inside that building. You can see it's a real massive bay there kids down there playing along the water side. It's uh, a lot more homeless people here than you think. A lot of the people that are sitting around out here, actually. And now we're getting kind of close to the heart. Close to the heart of the, the riverside here. And up here is some nice coffee shops and one is Costa Coffee I recommend if you really like a good strong coffee with a nice view at a not so reasonable price but that's okay give you guys just a quick little close-up of the Costa there if you go above the pizza shop here and you can set up sit out on that balcony right there or in those windows and have an amazing cup of coffee These are the snails that I guess the French left left behind here. They sell snails out of these big big tubs here. They are delicious, but not necessarily safe to eat. Over here across the street is a big area where people sit and have picnics and a uh, picture of the king and it lights up at night. It's really a tremendous place. I sat here and had a couple of late night dinners here and uh, that's real nice. Got another gentleman here doing the same thing I'm doing, filming the beauty. Now you can see this area, this big field over here in front of the Royal Palace over there, which we will take a special walk around at a later date and make a film. Sitting out here is amazing. And over here, pictures of the king and the flags flying there, palm trees. And the whole time Michael's been right behind me, keeping eyes out, doing a great job. It is safe here, guys, but when you're walking around with a camera by yourself in a foreign, foreign country anywhere, you just have to be careful, but it's safe. 
it's safe enough if you're smart and you just behave yourself. It's really nice. I recommend it. Come here. And there is there are some temples further up, two or three temples. And here you can really get a nice view of this seating area, this sitting area here, which is like you can drop mats out here on the grass and you can rent the mats. And uh, if you do choose to come out here and have a nice meal or something to eat or drink, the, the beer is round about 50 cents or 75 cents each. And the food is just as cheap. So you won't spend a lot of money out here. No way. All right, so as you can see, this riverside is massive. We've been walking for a while, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how massive this riverside really is. If you look way, way down there, you can see there's the riverside still wrapping around in the distance way, way out there. So we obviously won't walk out there. There's no way. But uh, yeah, so that's the riverside here in Cambodia. And want to give again a special thanks to Michael. Thanks, Michael. All right, so if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe and then you'll get the next video. All right, we'll see you next time.